Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make $700 in risk-free profit with just these four bets using the two most popular sports books in the US, FanDuel and DraftKings. Now, these bets are not just an example, but were bets that were actually placed by a friend of mine in the US that was following the exact strategy and the opportunity that I will show today. I will explain how I created this synthetic arbitrage opportunity and why it works mathematically. In the second part of the video, I will show you how you can find a set of four similar bets that you can go ahead and place yourselves to make some risk-free tendies. So let's get started. While gambling is world renowned in the United States, sports betting is actually a pretty new thing. In fact, it only became legalized in some US states very recently and it's still in the process of becoming legalized in a few other states. As such, many sports books in the United States like FanDuel, DraftKings, BetRivers, Caesars, BetMGM are all competing for market share and they're trying their best to get as many customers as they can while the competition is not fierce early on. The way they have been doing this is by enticing punters in with very 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 generous promotional offers and they hope that punters will become addicted to these and start betting continuously with them on their platforms. Which will mean that they end up just donating a lot of their hard earned money to the bookmakers in the long run. Because of these promotional offers, this presents a very juicy opportunity for those who are familiar with arbitrage betting which I explained in a previous video of mine over here. The one we'll be looking at and taking advantage of today is a very common and profitable one offered by a lot of these sports books and it's namely a risk-free bet up to $1,000 for the first bet you place. So even if you've already used FanDuel and DraftKings already, you can still take advantage of this opportunity on the other United States sports books. You can find the full list of which bookmakers offer this type of promotion and many other special profitable promotions on Odds Jam's Sportsbook Review and Promo Codes page. More on Odds Jam later. So let's take a look into it. Bookies are saying these are risk-free bets, but in fact they are being sneaky and doing a little bit of false advertising. Essentially, if your first bet loses, then you get your money back in bonus bets or bonus money up to the stake you bet, capped at $1,000. If you bet $200 in cash and lose, you get $200 in bonus bets. If you bet $2,000, you only get $1,000 back in bonus bets as that is the cap. However, the difference is bonus bets are not the same as cash itself and you can't actually withdraw it like you can withdraw cash. In fact, you need to use the bonus bet and once it's used, your bonus bet is considered used up and even in the case it does win, your bonus bet stake is not returned to you unlike when if you place a cash bet and it wins, your stake is also returned to you. We can see in this example. In this example, we can see that free bets are a little different than actual cash. If the bet you use the free bet on wins, then you only get back the winnings and the initial stake, which was the free bet, is not returned, unlike a cash bet. In this case, if we see the free bet and Louis Roberts hits a home run, then we get back $2,600 cash, but lose our $800 free bet. If we had bet with $800 of cash instead, we would get back $2,600 in winnings along with our initial $800 in cash. Bookies rely on the fact that the average punter doesn't actually know how to use a bonus bet and convert them at the optimal rate. Which means most of the time, punters only convert a $1,000 bonus bet at 30% or a $1,000 bonus bet turns into, on average, $300 in cash that they can withdraw. So this now seems like a very misleading and sketchy promotion that the bookmakers are giving you. Instead of offering a risk-free bet, you're most likely just gonna get $300 back from a $1,000 bet. But there is a way to actually make the most out of it. And this involves a way of guaranteeing bonus bets can be converted to cash at a fixed rate of at least 70%. This wouldn't be possible without a betting odds comparison site like Odds Jam, which is today's video sponsor. So here you can see that I am on the Odds Jam platform, which is a site that collects all the most recent odds data from all the major bookies and betting exchanges, and then compares them all and finds the best opportunities to bet on. They also have a mobile app which goes hand in hand with the product. At the moment, their product is very fleshed out for the United States and they cover all the bookmakers in the US. So if you live there, you will pretty much be guaranteed to make back the cost of your subscription very, very quickly. As an added bonus, you can get $25 off the subscription by one, using the link below and two, entering the code SHANE25 to get 25% off your first month.
For this specific strategy, we can use the OddsJam free bet converter tab to find the good odds. We want to find an event filtering for FanDuel since that is where the free bet is and is an event that is happening soon and the odds aren't too high. Let's use this bet for Louis Robert to score a home run. For this bet, we can see we will get a conversion of 71.43%. You can click on the calculator button on the left to see the right amount to place for the hedge bet, which will be betting on under 0 0.5 home runs on DraftKings. In this case, we will use our $800 free bet on FanDuel to bet on Louis Robert to score a home run at plus 350 odds, meaning we get $2,800 if we win. Then for the hedge bet, we will place $2,230 cash on Louis Robert to not score a home run, minus 390 odds. This means we get back $2,800 if it wins, making a profit of $570. These outcomes are mutually exclusive, meaning only one of these can win, as Louis Robert will either score at least one home run or not. So if our hedge bet wins, we get $570 profit, but lose our $800 free bet. And if our free bet wins, then we get back $2,800 profit but lose $2,230 from the hedge bet. So we will still make a net profit of $570. Therefore, we have locked in a conversion of our $800 free bet into $570, which is just over 70%. So now we know if we do lose the bet, we are getting $1,000 back in bonus bets, which we can convert at the fixed rate of 70%, therefore turn it into $700 in cash we can withdraw. But this would still be a loss from 1,000 to 700 is a loss of $300. So how can we actually use this promotion then? It means we'll need to place some amount on the opposite side of this bet to offset the loss that we would make in the case that it does lose. Once again, we can use Odds Jam to find the right opportunities. To make the most of the first risk-free bet on FanDuel, we'll use the free bet conversion tab again on Odds Jam to find an opportunity. We will filter for FanDuel and check it is also an event happening soon with relatively low odds with the sweet spot being around plus 300 for the bet on FanDuel. We can also exclude certain sportsbooks for our hedge bet if we don't have access to them. For example, if we only have access to FanDuel and DraftKings. After these considerations, we'll go with the one with the highest conversion rate to maximize our expected value from this promo. Let's say we pick this one on Houston Astros versus LA Angels game. Now let's see the bets we actually place on the bookies. For our risk-free bet, instead of maxing out the promo for $1,000, Let's say we use only $800, which means we'll get a $800 free bet back if it loses. For this bet, we'll place it on the higher odds on Fangio, which is under 5.5 runs at plus 260 odds. This means if it wins, we get $2,080 profit in addition to getting our $800 cash stake back. The hedge bet is on DraftKings, which is betting the opposite, over 5.5 runs with a stake of $1,600 cash, meaning if it wins, then we get $2,124 back, which is a net profit of $524. Once again, these events are mutually exclusive, which means only one can win. Therefore, if there are less than 5.5 runs, we make $2,080 on Fangio, but lose $1,600 on DraftKings, giving us a net profit of $480. If there are more than 5.5 runs, we can make $524 on DraftKings, but lose $800 on FanDuel. However, we'll get a $800 free bet back, which we know we can convert at 70%, in the example on Louis Roberts' home run earlier, therefore turning the $800 free bet into $571. This means we make $524 and lose only 30% of the $800 instead of the entire $800, which is losing just $229. This means our net profit is still positive and is equal to $524 minus $229, which is $295 Profit. Therefore, we will either make $480 or $295, giving us a very nice arbitrage opportunity regardless of the outcome. We can also repeat this strategy for the same risk-free bet promo on DraftKings, which will make us a similar amount, doubling our profit so now we will be making about $700 in total. One thing to note is that the order of placing these bets is actually very important. The higher odd ones are the bets you want to place first, as these are the ones where you want to be capturing the promotional offer, which states it has to be for your first bet. So that's how my friend made $700 in risk-free profit using FanDuel and DraftKings. And you can get on it too if you're in the United States in a state where sports betting is legal, 
and you can go take a look at Odds Jam to help you find the places with the best odds and opportunities. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a big like down below and make sure to subscribe to this channel to not miss out on my other betting and money making tips that I have lined up for you guys. As always, take care and I'll see you all in the next video.